What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I have an in-depth comparison between the Storm Supernova and the Nova. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like this Coolwick Elite jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, make sure to go to coolwick.com and use my promo code NAPOLIS10. That'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there should be a link where you can order a Supernova or a Nova or anything bowling related. That is the absolute best way to help support the channel and I would super appreciate it. So these two bowling balls have a lot, a lot in common, but they have one really, really big difference which we're gonna to get to here in a second. So let's get over some of the tech behind the Nova and the Supernova. They both feature the ignition weight block, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.49, a max differential of 0.052, and a PSA of 0.019. Again, that's in 15 pounds for both of these bowling balls. Now the cover stocks are where the biggest differences are going to be. The, Super, the Supernova features the NEX solid cover stock, while the Nova features the R2X hybrid cover stock so this is going to be a weaker formula hybrid and this is going to be a significantly stronger formula solid now the supernova comes out of box at a 2000 finish and the nova at a 3000 finish so that's really going to enhance some of the differences we're going to see as far as ball motion and the layout on both of these is exactly the same being 30 by four and a half by 30. so we're going to be here on lane one at samstown on a fresh typical house shot all right, so we're going to start in the Supernova, and we're going to start a little bit straighter. See what kind of ball reaction we can get here. All right, so that went a little high. We're going to move in a little bit. See how it handles it now. Right, I think this will be like our little baseline spot here because that last shot looked really good. So one more here with the Super, then we'll get to the Nova. All right, same spot here with the Nova. I expect this one to go a little high because of how much it's going to hook down lane. and did not do that. I mean, it was definitely cleaner and quicker, but didn't hook that much more overall. See that one? All right, threw that one really slow, so let's make sure we get this one at the speed we need it at. That looks pretty good. All right, maybe chase them both in now. All right, back in the Supernova, and I really want to make sure that I get this going more up the lane here. Like that. Good shot. All right, we're going to move one left off that wrap 10. See if we can't make that go bye-bye here. Pretty good shot there. All right, let's move a little left off that shot, and I think we should be locked and loaded here. All right, same spot here with the Nova now. See how this looks. Hook a lot. So I thought I threw that pretty good and the ball didn't even dream about hooking. So let's move like three right off that and see how this looks here. Then it sees it immediately. Let's try to get in between those two. All right, this is, I'm gonna attempt to go in between those two shots and see how this looks here. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so the biggest differences that I'm seeing between the Nova and the Supernova, and albeit I'm throwing the ball pretty terrible right now. So that's definitely going to account for some of these big differences that I'm seeing. But a big difference I'm seeing is that the Nova is at least three boards weaker for me on what I'm bowling on right now. Way cleaner through the fronts, a little bit more pop down lane. Whereas the Supernova wants to be very, very early and not a whole lot of motion down lane. 
So now we're going to get back on the lanes, chase both of these balls left. But I think that the goal is definitely not to get the ball into the friction. As you saw with some of those shots there with the Nova, it got into the friction and just wanted to roll completely forward. And then the Supernova being even stronger is just going to amplify that. So let's get left, kind of shut down our angles a little bit and see how it looks. Now we're going to move a little bit in now in the Supernova. Just kind of want to slow hook it here to the right a little bit and see what happens. Okay, let's not slow hook it then. I think now that we found a little oil, I think we're in a good spot here. Keep that swing nice and low here. I think that last shot was, was a really good one. Let's see if we can't repeat that here. All right, same spot with the Nova, and I have, if I have to move right off this, I will. Just want to see one shot from the same spot. All right, we'll stay there, see if that was a fluke or not. But I really like the, the way it came off the back part of the lane here. I guess I just needed to tell myself how bad I'm throwing it. And that fixes a lot of things. Let's keep going here. Missed in. All right, going back to basics here, but I, I feel really good these last uh, like six shots or so. Like that feels just so good. Whatever the ball does down lane, that feels really good. I'm going to go two left off that four pin and just keep executing good shots here. Good shot there. Good shot. All right, one more shot here with the super, and then we'll get into the Nova one more shot. Oh, that's a foul by a by an inch. All right, back in the Nova, same spot. Keep making good shots or trying to make good shots here. Oh. All right, so before I move left, I really just want to make sure I get it going right a little bit here to see before I make that big move in. Like that first. Yeah, let's keep it there. All right, one more shot here, then we'll take it to the desk, quickly talk about what I'm seeing. Wow. All right, so I think the biggest difference I'm seeing is that these two bowling balls are definitely different enough that I would warrant having both of them in the bag if you were bowling on enough volume. If you were only bowling like on a fresh typical house shot and you're only gonna bring like three or four or five balls, I would pick the one that you like the shape of the most and go with that one. I can't imagine using both of these in league, but I can definitely see myself having both of these in the bag if I was bowling like a regional or a tournament with enough volume. So let's get back on the lanes and continue to chase both of these left. All right, back in the Supernova. And I think the further left I get, the more apparent the differences are between these two covers. Wow, let's get the ball right off that. All right, let's get this one going more right and hope that it doesn't bail down lane. Let's see. Okay, let's move left again. All right, last shot here with the Supernova. Gonna move left a little. Make sure I get it going right. See how this looks here. Hook a lot. All right, back in the Nova, same spot I just left off at with the Super. Oh, terrible shot. Terrible freaking shot. 
I think the supernova just allows me to play a little straighter where the nova, or a little further left, where the nova forces me a little bit further straight. See, that's a little straighter. All right, last shot of the video here. Let's try to end on a half decent note. Sorry I've been throwing the ball so bad for you guys here. All right, so we are all done now with the comparison between the Nova and the Supernova. My physical game right now is as bad as it's ever been, and I hope as bad as it's ever going to get. The biggest differences I'm seeing is that the Nova is a little bit weaker, a little bit cleaner through the fronts, tries to produce a little bit more shape. Overall, forced me a little bit straighter than the Supernova. The Supernova wanted to be a little bit earlier, a little bit diggier, a little bit rollier, and allowed me to play a little bit further left into the oil. So click right here to watch one of my videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.